All right, in this video we're going to talk about the nature and mechanisms of action of growth factors. Now we know that, um, well let me just discuss this first. The major role or the major um, reason why the body needs growth factors is because it promotes cell survival and proliferation. So if, and we'll discuss how, but if the growth factor is removed from a cell, or if it's not stimulated, if growth factors aren't stimulating these cells, then these cells will undergo apoptosis. That's one of the reasons why apoptosis happens is because growth factors are removed from it. So they, growth factors promote cell survival, and they also promote um, cell proliferation, or mitosis and dividing and all that. Now we know that um, cells can be um, stimulated to proliferate by the extracellular matrix. The extracellular matrix can promote cells, um, I'll just put cell division here, or cell proliferation, um, can be brought about by the ECM, it can be brought about by cytokines, it can be cells can divide due to hormones and of course growth factors so these four <clears throat> ECM cytokines hormones and growth factors can cause the cell to divide can stimulate the cell to divide and growth factor usually causes um, increase in size causes it to increase in its size, causes mitosis to happen, and they prevent apoptosis. Now, what, um, let me scroll down here a little bit. So let's say we have a cell here. And there's a little receptor. Let's put a couple receptors on this cell. So let's say we have growth factor here. And it has a little end like that, let's say. And it will bind to this receptor through diffusion. You know, the, there's growth factor all over out here saying that it's, let's say, and it's being secreted by um, the cells that do it. And let's say this growth factor binds to these ligands. Now what will happen inside the cell? So you'll have these little, you know, changes within the cell because of this ligand or this growth receptor will bind, or this growth factor will bind to this receptor. This Then this receptor gets triggered to make all these changes and Yada, 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 and then it gets down here to the nucleus. Nucleus, and there's DNA inside of here. Okay, so what will happen is that um, there's a term that's called, so there's these growth control genes on side, let's say this section of the DNA, or this section, or several sections, you know, we're not sure, but there's sections of this DNA that's called growth control genes, and they're called proto-oncogenes. And what happens is these parts of the nucleus, or these parts of the DNA get, get read, get transcribed, get, get uh, um, attention, if you will. So there's little enzymes and little proteins and structures that will read these this uh, these growth control genes, and they'll say, okay, so now it's time for us to grow. The cell will grow. And what does that mean? It means it's going to increase in its size. It's going to make proteins. It's going to make proteins. It's going to um, prepare prepare for mitosis 
And remember in the cell cycle video, we had uh, G1 phase, S phase, G2 phase, you know, and then, then we had mitosis, and then it came down to G2, G1, and then it could go into uh, G O subphase. So that's kind of the cell cycle. And there were there were stops, remember, if you will. There were kind of uh, roadblocks. There were kind of uh, control mechanisms to make sure that the DNA or the cell wasn't damaged. And if the cell was damaged, then it would go under undergo apoptosis. And so this this um, these cells would be halted here. So growth factor also um, speeds up this process, and it also kind of um, um, yeah, speeds up this process and it, and it and it stimulates the cell to undergo this cell cycle more more quickly. So that's what growth factor does inside the cell, and is by reading these growth control genes, and they're called proto oncogenes. And the reason why they're called proto oncogenes is because there's mechanisms, um, because these genes are um, responsible for um, growing and proliferating the cell and if there's any mutations if there's any mutations in these in these proto oncogenes then the cell will undergo um, division um, without control without control so what will happen if these proto oncogenes get mutations in them or these enzymes, then they'll just start reading, reading, reading these um, DNA, and they'll say, "Oh, hey, you know, we need to start growing, you know." And this pattern and this pattern will continue, and then the cell will, you know, undergo division rapidly and keep going, and it will be uncontrolled, and it won't stop, and it will keep going. And what does this process sound like? And cancer. So it's important for you know these growth factors to properly stimulate these cells to undergo this process here. So who secretes these um, growth factors? Well, leukocytes do. So when once leukocytes come into the damaged area or to take care of a foreign invader, they will. Um, secrete growth factor. Um, also the cells in the ECM where the extracellular matrix was degraded or you know beat up, broken if you will, they'll secrete, they'll also secrete growth factor. And there, we'll talk about more cells that secrete growth factor later but you know, I hope you guys are kind of getting a sense of what how important growth factor is in the repairing process. So you can see here that there's a list of um, growth factors here, and this is um, not an, an exclusive, uh, all-inclusive list, but you know, there's just tons and tons of different types of growth factor, and they all can be stimulated by um, you know different cells that secrete these and um, there's yeah you can google <laughs> growth factors and see that there's a lot of different types of growth factor and some of the cells again that secrete um, growth factor are leukocytes and cells within the extracellular matrix